Little Frederick, he's laying under the old ghillie blanket. Can't even see you in there, Freddie. You, you gone, boy. Oh, oh, I am so sick of the heat. Yo! And if you're a duck hunter and a goose hunter like myself, I'm sure you're sick of the heat as well. I like summer and all for the boating, but other than that, no. Give me my winter and fall back, please. What's up guys, welcome back to another one here in the lodge. Have not started putting everything back in here yet. Yeah, I'm gonna need a hand or three when I begin that task. This hunt is unseen, you guys have never seen it. It's from this previous snow goose conservation season. And uh, we had some awesome clients and you'll see them in the video. We had Cole there, we had Bert there, and all of our clients, I think we had eight total and they're from Florida. It was awesome. Now, we didn't shoot them all this day, but the ones that we did were literally 10 yards off the ground, right in our face, just puffing them. It was awesome. Fred gets some good work done. I know, y'all have been missing watching Fred work. Me too. Big announcement. Yes, my podcast will be up and running very soon, but I'm making some changes. All of my raw content, all of the stuff that I can't put on here, plus I'm gonna do some duck calling tutorials, goose calling tutorials, and a bunch of other stuff over on my Patreon. That is where the podcast has always existed. I just think it's, uh, I think it's time to beef it up and it not only be a podcast over on my Patreon, but, but more of a uncut content, raw content, raw Bobby, uh, start some how-to videos over there because a lot of you are asking me what type of goose duck call I use spec Please teach me how to do that stuff. So it's gonna be going on over there Plus we're giving away a two-man Sandhill flyaway hunt for two of y'all that are subscribed over there to come this fall and enjoy some duck and goose hunting with me I am in the midst of making all of the new content that I'm gonna be putting up there right now. So it will be popping off very shortly. But without further ado, the ghillie blankets killed it on this hunt. You will see why. Let's get into it. Fred, go lay down. I'm gonna get a wire, man. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Oh yeah. Sure? Yeah, look at this. It's pretty. <laughs> it's donut, pretty. Man. We're ready. Yeah, we got the donut. We're in the kill hole. We use full bodies. Made a big donut. These are the birds from yesterday that we tried. We're not giving up. This was an X. Yesterday we were over there, a field south. This is where they wanted to be. And a big donut. We got full body strung way ahead of us. So it's a good idea. I like it, dog. They're either going to love it or they're going to hate it. I don't think they can hate it, though. <laughs> I think this spread is way better than yesterday's. Yeah. 100%. We got, a, we got the extendo spread today. Yeah, it's the extendo rama. This is the extension tube spread, baby. You ready, dog? Oh, you know I am. <laughs> Look, you've been I can't waiting. Wait. I, I hope we crush him, dude. Yeah, Hopefully. Me too. Sounds good out here. We'll walk you through. We're up to where we're sitting. So, full bodies are way out there. You can't see them with a GoPro. Later, I'll walk out there. Three clones in front. E collar blaring really loud. We're all the way at the back of the spread. Rotary, rotary. Let's go. There we go. We got birds out front. It's okay, Fred. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Oh, we got a lot of birds out front. Just don't move, guys. Lay down. Let's go. Look at that. We're gonna get into this flock. No, we're not. We're gonna wait. Did we wait too long? No. Nope, they're coming back. Out front, guys. Lay down. Get 
him, get him, get him. Right on. Reload, baby. Woo. Load up, lay down. Let's go. Let's go. He. One in the decoys. One in the decoys. Shoot that blue, Cole. Hey, have the boys set up. They're still coming, Cole. This one's coming to the spread. Look at him. Get down. Get down, guys. Lay down. Here, Fred. Here, 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 here. Fred, here. 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 Lay down. Right here. Lay down. Lay down. Good. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Okay, lay down, guys. Good boy, here, here, here. Good, lay down. Here, lay down. Cover all the way up, cover your feet. Good boy, lay down, here. Lay down, cover up, guys, pull them blankets up. Good. Good boy. Here, here, good back, good. Lay down right here. Out front, boys. Cover up, get your head all the way down. Get up, get up and shoot that bird. Stand up, hurry up. We gotta make it quick. These are working back over the top. Hey, one shot, there's birds over working over the top. Hi, birds. He died? Okay, right here in front. Let that other one get lower, lay down. There we go. Shoot him! <laughs> Behind us. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> he was right there, boy. Come on, Fred. He, 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 he. Let's go here, right here. He shot it. Oh, he shot his foot off. Here, here, here. Lay down. Lay down. Stay. Get down. They're taking their time. Goodness. These two are just taking forever. They're really stalled up at that height. We're going to have to go. Oh, man. They're going to get sick of us here in a minute. Gosh. It's a waiting game. It's always a waiting game trying to get them down low enough. All right, come on, make your hook. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, get in here. They might, uh, they might be leaving. Ooh. It's crazy how long they want to look at it. Older birds. Gosh dang, we're gonna have to just send it on. They are not giving us any closer distance than that. Goodness. Hey. How many yards do you think that is? Eighty? We're going to try, that's for dang sure. He just keeps like, he won't stall up but right above us, you know? Yeah, buddy.
wait, these are getting squirrely in front. We're gonna wait. On the right, out front. Shit, they're getting higher, Cole. Damn it. Yep. God dang it, I knew I should have went on that last one. Son of a... These three. Out front, guys. Coming over the top. Shoot him over the top. Nice shooting. <laughs> Woo! Did that land right by him? Woo! We tore him up. Back! Wish we would have went on that one, but. They're just smart enough. Yeah, honestly. Pick it up, heat! Let's go! Drop, drop, back. Sit! Where's that other one at? Fall behind us? Yeah, that's it. We won't wait again like that. Good. You see him? They're the same path that the other ones did. They're coming. Good old Frederick. He's laying under the old ghillie blanket. Can't even see you in there, Freddie. You, you gone, boy. These blankets, corn blankets, are amazing. Honestly, I think it's way better uh, laying down. Little pro tip of the day, honestly. Uh, ghillie blankets, pull them all the way up to your face. Get as low as you can on the chair, and they look so good compared to laying in white painter suits. I think it's working a ton better today than yesterday. Come on, do it for your boy. Hit the old thumbs up, come on. Yeah, so adult birds, they did not like us that day at all. But y'all have been wanting a walkthrough on birds. Juvenile snow geese, they loved us that day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's about how high that one was that we shot. And it was a complete juvenile. Um, like I said, the, the ones that liked us really did. There are obviously juvies that loved us, uh, but a lot of juvies had already came through, skirted through the area, and we were dealing with some amounts of adults. And if you've hunted adult snow geese, they're not always easy, and they're not always generous. It happens. Nevertheless, what an awesome hunt. I had a bunch of fun. Spread looked amazing. We still had a great time. I did not have a tube on my gun. I actually took it off uh, because I just got sick of all the weight out there. I'm like, you know, there's very rare times I need more than four or five shells. So I'm just gonna take my plug out and that's what I did. I just ran four, five, three shells at one time. Didn't really worry about it and it worked great. My shooting went up. Now, a lot of you might be asking yourself, Bob, why are you shooting with the clients? Okay, I'll tell you why. Because they ask me to. Bob, will you shoot with this? We just wanna hunt with you. It ain't hunting with you unless you got your gun and your dog. I'm like, okay. No problem at all. I'm ready to get back after it so bad. But like I said, guys, over on my Patreon, a bunch of new stuff gonna be firing up. How-to videos, duck calling, goose calling, how to feed or chuckle. I'll update my spec calling abilities, which aren't the best, but I'm proud of them. Not only that type of stuff, but gonna continue the podcast episodes just like they have been, and I'll be able to put all of my raw content on there. I have a bunch of it saved. Uh, from, from years past, probably the last two years, and uh, I'm gonna throw it up over there, and you guys are gonna love it. It's a lot of fun getting to see, it's a lot of fun getting to see myself um, unfiltered, you know? All the language not edited out, uh, <laughs> everything. You're gonna have to check it out. But I will start uploading all that new stuff very, very soon, within the week. Thank y'all for being here, guys. If you have wanted to come to Sand Hill and book a hunt, like all these folks, I'm telling you, 
you better get on board now because we're starting to fill up. Yes, there is good availability left, but now it's starting to get tight. I can tell everybody's starting to get duck hunting back on their mind. I'm getting more DMs on my Instagram. I am getting more phone calls uh, because of people wanting to come to Sand Hill Flyaways and come hunt for three days. Um, we're getting closer, y'all. Hang in there, stay cool, but until next time.